Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. The sun is out. I feel like summer's finally arrived in London. So I thought, right, let's get out, do another video. I found a lake, well, a dock, where I think the fish are gonna be taking off the top. So fingers crossed, we can get a bit of that done. I've only brought basic gear uh, so I can travel light because I'm on public transport. And not only that, but we are going up there. That is how we're gonna get to the lake today up the IFS cloud. I'm a little bit nervous because it looks quite high, but it's going to be good. Let's go. Right, we're on board. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> it looks really hard. <laughs> well, we've just got halfway up and we've completely stopped. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wish me luck. We're moving. Whew. Did get a little bit nervous. It's hot in here as well. <laughs> Well, we made it to the other side, and uh, what I've done is I've just stuck out some bread and some floaters on the surface, and there are fish taken straight away. Boom. Now, this could be a very good sign. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's get rigged up and go. Right, now, I've just put out a load of bread on the surface, and they are absolutely smashing it off the top. I think it's bass. I can't actually believe this, man. It's going a bit too well. I haven't got bait in the water yet. I've literally got a piece of bread flake on a size six Nash twister hook with some fluoro, a fluoro leader. And the fish are still smashing off the surface. Let's get it going. What I've done is I've squeezed the bread around the hook so that it sinks slightly because it seems they're slightly more confident in taking it when it's sinking slowly rather than it being straight on the top. So fingers crossed. Oh. We're in, straight away. First cast. Apparently so. It's the first time I've fished here, but is that? that is gorgeous. Lovely little sea bass <laughs> off the top on the bread, and it's not even a bad size. I am absolutely buzzing with that. Let's get him back. Now, in the interest of honesty, <laughs> this wasn't my original idea. I actually saw a guy on YouTube called Alfie Russell, who came down here and he was fishing on the surface for bread, uh, with bread for bass and he caught a few. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna try that. So just in the interest of honesty, I've actually copied him, pretty much straight up copied him because it's near my house and I thought that looks like a cracking session. So I thought I'd give it a go. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, put the camera on my head, change things up a little bit. Again, the bass are out there, but they're, take, they're being a bit nervous about taking it completely off the top. So what I'm doing is my piece, I'm just squeezing it onto the hook so that it sinks a little bit and it seems to make them a lot more confident 
in taking the bait. We shall see. See if I can get fish number two. Oh, he says, and the bread's come right off. Let's go again. Okay, let's try. Oh, it's come off again. Right, third time lucky. There we go. Now that is just sitting beautifully below the surface. Come on, take it before it disappears. Take it before it disappears. Come on, fishy. I need to be able to see it. to the line. Just had a bass, mate. Yeah, they're taking bread off the top, weirdly. Mad, mate. I've never seen sea bass taking bread. <laughs> so it's London, isn't it? It was all right. Weren't tiny, like. Can't come back for any. <laughs> Unless he knows. Oh. Go on, go on. Yes. Do me a favour, sold that for me. Thank you, man. Fish number two. Not a bad sized bass. Give him a little rest. Well, after that beast, now that was possibly my PB bass ever, but I've had a bit of a drama. This is what you get when you buy cheap, you buy twice. Oh, my net's gone. What am I going to do? Might have to cut this short. I'll have a little thing. I'll have a little thing to get back to you. Well, guys, my net's broken. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a drop there. It's not a major drop. Now, if I had a smaller fish, I could probably swing it over the side. But if I was to hit anything bigger, it would, in the interest of fish safety, I'm not going to just swing them over the side. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut it short there, it looks like. I've had two nice bass. Both swam away strongly. <laughs> the second one <laughs> was a little bit lively. Uh, <laughs> but it was all good. I got him back in and he swam away nice and strong. That was a cracking session. It was like a 10 minute session, but absolutely action packed. Just how I like it. Unfortunately, uh, it's gonna have to end it there. Now I have left a little bread out on the top and it does seem as though catching that fish has spooked them off anyway. Uh, I've seen quite a few when I first got here up until the point where I caught that fish and uh, they've just disappeared now. I've been waiting about 20 minutes for them to come back and they haven't come back, so. Back on the sky lift. And back home. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making it, although it was cut extremely short. I'm definitely coming back. So maybe we'll do another video a little bit better prepared with a stronger net next time. I brought the big net because I thought, what about if I end up going for pike? Because I brought some pike lures and I've got some traces and stuff. And I thought, I just want to be prepared. Bringing the big net has actually not paid off because the net snapped. Never mind. I am a bit gutted. But there we go. Keep an eye out for the next video. It's going to be another urban adventure. I might come back here, try again. I might do something different. Keep your eyes peeled and don't forget to like and subscribe.